Hello, good morning. It is Off the Press, the program where we tell you all that is in the headlines. Try to make sense of it, uh, have a bit of conversation, dissect it as much as, as much as we can. And with me to do so this morning is uh, Dr. Femi Du Adegoko, who is a public affairs analyst. Good, good to morning. have you here. And of course, our longtime friend, uh, Alexa Wilcox, public affairs analyst also. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. It's Where have well. you been? Thank you. you disappeared on us. Well, let me not say what I said back still. Yeah, don't say it on air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have so many papers here to um, look at this morning, but we'll be beginning with the Vanguard. And for Vanguard, it says we have uh, so many stories looking at me. So let's start from the top. The decision to close down uh, our borders has been the best antidote to many of smuggling, including uh, smuggling of arms and other dangerous products. That's uh, according to Milafia. It's on page 32, already displayed there on your screen. I'm sure you'll be able to see it clearly. And then $9.6 billion uh, P&ID scam. George remands Britain in, Britain in prison. That's on page 9. You can see it displayed there. And our court orders interim for future of Saraki's uh, Ikoi houses on page 8. And First Bank posts 60.03 billion naira profits in nine months on page 19. Now, treasonable felony charge courts varies Shawore uh, Bakare's bill conditions. That's again, it's on page 8 of the Vanguard newspaper. Now, let's go to what is on the front page, the big story there. Killings, banditry, uh, farmers' headers clashes. Short borders against alien herdsmen, Otom tells federal government. Ohanese Afenifere, ACF, Khan PDP, and others in support. Arrest criminals posing as herdsmen. Northern leaders urge security agencies. That story, you'll find it on page five. Now we have a uh, picture story also. The traffic situation from Mile 2 area through uh, Wolf bus stop past Begayat area inward Apapa section. We can never stop talking about it. You can see the picture story there also displayed on your, uh, your screen. And on page 13, we see that Onoja has been sworn in as Kogi deputy governor. Uh, so, and then secure Anchorage area statement of facts. Now, gentlemen, where do we begin? There's plenty of story. Oh, and then there's something here also, rail transport, 20 new coaches arriving in six weeks. That's a bit of good news there by the Honorable Minister of Transport, Rotimi Amechi. And you find that story on page eight. Alexa Wilcox, the sto a story you said you're interested in. Well, uh, there's a couple of stories there that, well, <laughs> every one of the stories I have direct bearing us to our current realities. Okay. Yes, every story on that, this, I don't, so like you said, where do we start? So let's just try and see if we can bridge quite a number of them. Number okay. one, let me talk about Otong. I just knew is, you were Otong is a dramatist. I, don't, I, I can't understand why a leader in the capacity of Otong should just be playing politics and uh, comedy with situations. I, you think he's playing politics he's, and he's, comedy? He's playing comedy. Uh, see, uh, it was Otong that has popularized this whole headsman issue, rightly or wrongly. And since after the elections, Octon went to sleep. The, the, the Jukum TV uh, conflict that has mm. been claiming thousands mm. of, hundreds of lives in Benue State and Taraba State, Octon has not come up to make any comment about it. Yeah, yesterday, I understand this is our day of yesterday, a woman was macheted in her farm mm. and she was taken to hospital. And Octon and his wife and a, a, a whole uh, a gamut of uh, the Benue State uh, 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 Executive Council went to visit a woman that was murdered. One woman that was murdered, and assumedly by a Fulani man. I don't. I, I I've not confirmed that story. Went to the hospital to go and visit the woman, and then start making this statement. Why hasn't Tom talked about the hundreds oh, of lives that have been lost between the Juku TV uh, conflict? Oh. That tells you something that this these people are just playing to the gallery as to the risk situation in their home state and what about them. And you press me, just, just give them a free reign. No, well, well he's alluding to something else here, which is saying look, the border part. What I'm saying in essence is this. Mm -hmm. He has started again. He has not to offer his people. His only problem is headsmen to whip up sentiments, which he did and successfully did in 2000, from 2013. Then he got elected for no performance in 2015. By the time he was able to... Uh, pitch the people against the headsmen and all whatnot and make a mountain and then created a problem and then expanded it and then the press helped him and then he got re-elected. 
That's what I'm saying. Since after his re-election, the Jukum TV tribe, which has, which is the one that is claiming serious lives in the state and in Taraba State, he's not on the front. He has not gone to visit any casual any of the sports where this has happened. I agree that the border closure has brought a lot of sanity into the country. We can all feel it that for for once, this level of insecurity has almost like died down. Uh, people, you think so? Yes, we're not hearing this daily daily uh, banditry and all whatnot. We've not yet been hearing so much of it. So, but it is not to say that it is all because of the border closure. But him saying close border against full and against headsmen. Alien, alien, alien. I don't headsmen. even understand where how, he's coming how from. How do we know? I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't know where, where such a leader is coming from. He, I don't, I, what, what, okay, how does he identify alien headsmen? How, how, which, who opens border for alien headsmen? People, people, pe when the border is short, it is short for every trade, for everybody. It is not selected that the border is shot against uh, A and open against B. So Otto needs to become a statesman that he is supposed to be and then sit down and rule his state. Let him address the Jukum TV uh, conflict that is happening in the state. Not to go... Uh, even when I heard the account of the woman, I, I said it, I it on television, when I heard the account of the woman, I could, I could not make a sense out of it that, which, that would make, it, make a governor leave his state to go and visit... Uh, 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 I'm not saying any life is not important, mm -hmm. but when I hear the account that. of the woman, I mean, I cannot make a head out of it as to warrant a governor to leave his domain and go to a federal medical center to go and see somebody because it is assumed, alleged, that the Fulani headsman was the one responsible for her, uh, her, her I mean, I mean the incident in that farm. Let him address the Jukum TV conflict that is claiming life not to be playing politics and be inciting people against their, their, their neighbors because he has the, 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 the singular honor and play to be a governor. Hmm. You think this is not good enough in there? Okay, so... Yeah, I'll lend a voice to that. It's true what you're saying. We have so much irresponsibility in government. Hmm. They play to the gallery. I've said that before. They have no agenda. They have no plan for the people. So he's playing... That, from what he's saying, there's a fundamental problem that has ravaged that part of the country for so long and he's still claiming life and you're not doing anything but you're playing on this because of the political influence that he has on the sentiments around it so let's let me i want to quickly go to this because mm. I, I i was in this day before yesterday what, what uh, you mean a papa you yeah mean the the papa green lock. Lock. yeah it's 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 i don't understand in nigeria of today we don't build system we build personal we build human system. beings yeah. we build persons but if the systems are broken, how let, would the people function? No, let, let, exactly. Let me just give you, there were, um, a, a, a tax force was put in place to put this in order, headed by the former commissioner for transport in Lagos State. The moment, about two weeks now, the man has been off because I, I, I guess he's bereaved. I heard he's bereaved and mm. he's, he's going to have his mother's barrier. Everything has gone back to status quo. There are different checkpoints on the road now. People taking advantage and collecting money, mm -hmm. so it's 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 sad. So it's do, sad. It, it, does it, it does that imply that this cannot be? Is this problem so much that we can't deal with it as a people? We we can. I, I've said it here before. The people deserve the kind of leader they get. We as a people, we have a problem. We have not dealt with that, and we're pointing fingers. So it's contributory. Yes, we no, it, it always. It's heavily contributory. In fact, look. I I I I I I I weep for my Lagos. You weep for. I weep for my Lagos, and sincerely, I think it is time we leave Abuja and start talking about Lagos, because everybody, every that people have been talking about in terms of governance, 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 press. Lagos is the is the media center of the of the country, hmm. but anytime you, you see people talk, it's Abuja, it's Abuja, it's Buhari, it's this, it's that. Let's talk about Lagos. Lagos is in a mess. Lagos is completely in it. Because sometimes I begin to wonder, all the work that Fashola did mm -hmm. in eight years, where is it? All the work that Ambode did in four years, where is it? We've praised Ambode to high heavens. We have prayed Fashola to high heavens. Where are the work? Today, every road in Lagos is terrible. The traffic you find today in Lagos is not because there are new cars that came into Lagos, but because the, the every part damaged. of the city, roads, every finish, part of the city, every part of the city is in a mess. Hmm. And this is the same city that has gulped so much 
I, let, let me leave Tinubu because Tinubu came to lay the foundation of for eight years trying to. Now, Fashola was praised to heaven for having done marvelously well in Lagos. You build a rose to at, okay, let's say 12, 8 to 12 years. I mean, mm. all the rows done in 8 to 12 years have gone comatose. When in Ghana, a road built for over 15 years is still the way it is. Now, all the work, when everybody came, he did a lot of work. In fact, in my place, he, in, in my local government area in Shomolu, he did quite a number of work. These things are just, I don't know why we do a job that do not last. Hmm. Today, you can't pass through Morocco. I live around Morocco. You can't pass Morocco area of Shomolu. The God and their local governments that can even do remedial work. And nothing is coming from the state. This is, this is a state I support. This is a government I support. But sincerely, Lagos is in a mess. Hmm. Have you seen rain at uh, Simpson Street? Have you gone to Simpson Street when it rains? We need canoes. You need canoes to pass Simpson Street. I thought that's more. And until somebody, until there is... Somebody, there's a death of some because that place is filled well with school children. Mm. And the big gutter by Mandela's, the gutter is so big and deep, dirty. And the rains will cover the entire place. Now, until somebody dies there. I hope we don't get to that. And, we, and there are children, and there, there is a school opposite that place where children are passing every day. And the place is perennially flooded, it's filled to the brim. And, and what, where will I mention? I think Horrible. we should start talking about Lagos. Lagos is in a mess, it's shameful. Because I can't even defend it. The other day I was being called to be defended because they said I defend the PC government. I can't defend it any longer. Mm. Lagos is in a mess and mm. something urgently needs to be done. Something urgently needs to be done. Okay, so we'll go to the Punch newspaper. I know there are other stories here, but in the interest of time, we'll go to the Punch newspaper. Uh, if you have it displayed there, which I know would be already done. Uh, Nigeria needs to reduce fuel sus subsidy now, according to IMF, and that's on page 30. A minimum wage, uh, labor demands payment of five months arrears, and that's on page 19 of the Punch newspaper. EFCC begins witnesses recalling fire shares 2.2 billion naira fraud case on page 10, and court orders for feature of Saraki's house's ex-governor kicks, and that's on page 12 also. Uh, there are state, uh, state varsities face hard times as governors cut some subventions on uh, page 8 also. Some universities are glorified secondary schools, says ASU president. No project executed at Union Sun uh, during Aregbe Shola's tenure, according to lecturers Union Oshun, rather, I beg your pardon, Union Oshun, during Aregbe Shola's tenure, according to lecturers, and 260 million naira monthly subvention can't pay 500 million naira salaries. That's by EXU workers. Um, and then we have a picture story, it would be displayed now, uh, how police arrest Chadian, Nigerian, and uh, kidnap suspects recover 10 million naira. You can see for yourself uh, the amount of the picture there of uh, some currencies there. And the story is on pages four and five. And then you, uh, six UI lecturers in DSS net for exam malpractice. That's on page 39. Two-day-old Davido's son, something on entertainment, opens over 200 Instagram accounts. How so? Wow, that's on page four, anyways. And then the National Assembly uncovers 4 billion Naira ghost projects in uh, NIWA budgets on page 20. So many stories. Where do we begin? There's the Saraki case, there's the EFCC, there's the court, there's minimum wage. Dr. Fair. Well, I'm going to start from the state varsities for his hard times. Okay. Because it's, it's sad the governors now want to put inflict at times on our education. But and the education it, system is already... Yeah, yeah, they want to inflict more. They are not reducing their own allowances. The security vote that they get, what do they do with it? And there's an headline that says, a governor for eight years, nothing went to the state university. That's a shame. In Oshun State. It, and we see our leaders come out and play to the gallery. Education is the clinic of the nation. Is the, you know, it's just talk. I've always said it. They do minimum talk and walk or walk the talk. Mm -hmm. Let's see results. Yeah, no. The universities, no research work, no projects, nothing. And then we're, we're complaining that we're not growing. And then we have a lot of young ones who are not even interested in education anymore. Or the ones who finished and don't have jobs mm -hmm. have become cybercrime uh, pr practitioners. Constituted to nuisance. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, for me, 
This is disastrous, making headline. Even, uh, um, you know, it says, uh, ASO says, the ASO president said that some universities are now glorified school, well, uh, glorified secondary well, school. We are, we are aware of that for, for um, a while now, so. Well, that's a shame. It's, it's a it? big shame. Number one, how did we get, see, no, part of the problem, I blame ASO. Why do you blame ASO? these problems. The rot, the corruption in the university system. Yeah. Hmm? It's humongous. The corruption embedded in universities is humongous. You see, sometimes I begin to say, sometimes we, we always blame government. Yes, government has so much to be blamed for. Uh -huh. I don't believe in, I believe in one thing. It is not the quantum of money that is thrown into its problem, but the actual delivery that that money comes from. Okay. You hear huge allocations going to universities. They, either they have over bloated bureaucracy, over bloated workforce, of a bloated staff situation. And at the end of the day, all this money goes into payment of salaries, payment of allowances, end allowance on end allowance, this that allowance, that allowance. Please, what has the universities in this country produced? A lot. Don't you, are you meaning that? Uh, I'm not talking of half big or quarter big or one tenth big graduates. I'm talking of research. Are you seeing money has not been sending for research? All the time that they travel abroad for one conference, for one uh, this or the other, what have they done? What have they brought to the table? Look, today we all place California. California is a knowledge-based knowledge yes, state right. in America. I expect that a, a replica of California in Nigeria should be a kitty. <laughs> but a kitty is one of the poorest states in Nigeria. That without free allocation, they will not even be able to, 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 to run anything. What have the universities produced? Everything is not about money. Mm. Everything is not about money. But money will help to achieve. Money will help, but it's not all about money. It's first of all the ideology, the, the idea behind the money. And execution. Yes, a lot of money that look go and go and carry out. Why 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 is Asu against? Why is Asu kicked in against uh, uh, TSA? Why does he kick against TSA so badly? Why does he say they should not be part of the uh, the, 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 the the national payroll system? Mm. Why? So if you, are, if, you are, if you don't have something to hide, look, let us be fair. Fair is fair. Government has a responsibility. But again, the universities are corrupt. They have a role to play. They are corrupt. They spend money unwisely. Yes, they, before they think that uh, uh, they say lecture, uh, teachers, uh, teachers reward are in heaven. The lecturers in Nigeria have changed that narrative. Their reward, they want to collect it fully here on earth. Plus the legal and illegal ones, the ones they stole from students, from, plus pecuniary gains and everything. The universities are corrupt and dirty. So until they clean their ass, their self up, I will not have sympathy for the universities. Huh. Anything that they say, you know, I will never have, I will have one person I will never have sympathy for the university because they have never justified over time what they have ever uh, 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 received. Well, let me quickly, I just want to add to what you said. Okay. And I will disagree on one. There's knowledge in Nigerian investors. There's no, no doubt. But they're just shelf-based knowledge. Okay. They are on the shelf. I agree with you. The problem of corruption is not only in Nigerian universities. It cuts across broad. I know. I agree. And that is why I've always said it. We need to restructure our system. And from our civil service system, and every part of our system needs proper restructuring, even our political structure. Right now, we're seeing what is going on in other countries, like mm. Botswana, if you look at mm. the, what is going on there. But we, Niger, the problem with Nigerians is we're just, we're just lukewarm. It's money. We just want to We, we money. worship money. money. Just, I agree. We money. worship money, money now. Be, buy a big car. Yeah. Buy a big house. We That's all we're after. We, Nothing more. We don't even care about tomorrow. We don't care about values anymore. We just feed our tummy. Hmm. Tom, right. Stomach infrastructure. Wow, that's deep. Okay, so we'll go to the, the, the nice paper now, uh, which is this day. And it says, banks, it would be displayed. Bank CEOs uh, disclaim MTN over USSD transaction charges. We don't need permission to impose service charges, uh, says Telcom. And that's already it's on the front page. You can see it, but it's continued on page five of this day uh, newspaper. And then EFCC arranged two British nationals over the PNID $9.6 billion uh, of fraud. That's on page five. All the newspaper actually carried it, so we're going to talk on that now. Despite border closures, smuggling booms at Nigeria and Niger border. That uh, custom arrest 50 suspects, seized uh, 14 trucks, accused residents of border town of uh, complicity. 
that's on page, you can see it on the front page, but it's continuing on page five. Now, embracing assault on the Constitution, Kogi swears in new deputy governor. Uh, you can see that on the front page, it's continued on page six, and then on a well-deserved picture story of a sultan of Sokoto and the uh, Bola Tinubu and Obio furniture uh, somewhere uh, in Babalola University, Afe Babalola University in Adwekite yesterday for some recognition. So, where do we begin? There's this whole story of uh, EFCC and the British uh, Nationals over the PNRD. Yeah, well, Femi, I know you're going to say something. Yes, I'm very interested in that, and I'm happy we're getting faces to that. Uh, song. Yes. <laughs> and I'm happy that they're not stopping, are just talking. They're getting people arrested, mm -hmm. people detained. Then we need more so information. Can... Yeah, we must get to the root of it. We must. It, that's a, that for me. That's a good news, mm. and it's. Put, uh, put, put in the anti-corruption uh, uh, matter that this government came on the back of. It's put it, yes, let's put that to test on them. If you can get this to a logical conclusion, because that's a lot of money on yes, Nigeria. Of and if, if you had been, if you had been turned a blind eye to or kept on under the carpet, uh, in this crucial time where we say we don't have enough, hmm. and we're incurring such amount of uh, fine to be paid. So that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Back to the, I want to talk about the Kogi state. Yes. I've listened to some... And I know that Alessa is going yeah, to say something. I'm not, I'm not a legal practitioner, but okay. at least I've read Nigerian constitution to an extent. And I have to agree with most legal practitioner that have come out to say... The MBA. Yes, that it is a real total shame and disregard and disrespect for Nigerian constitution. Reading the story yesterday, you set up a committee Five-man panel. Seven. There were seven. Okay. To look at the activities of the deputy governor. They, uh, they removed one now. Mm -hmm. Simon. Yeah. And they came out with their report. They didn't find him any guilty. They, they even exonerated him. But mm -hmm. the State House of Assembly now goes ahead to impeach him. And under 24 gross hours... Gross misconduct, which we don't know exactly what it translates to. But there was no gross misconduct in the... Document prepared by the no, I'm saying that's, committee, that's, the that's, committee. What they, that's what they claim. Yeah, that's what, that's what they, they are claiming. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Okay, now under 48 hours, you're swearing in another who, who, who happens to be the former chief of staff mm. who has now become so. It tells us that we just have people who uh, are uh, Robin Hoods mm. in our rule, running the country because I don't see them as leaders, they are rulers. They are Robin Hoods. What are your thoughts, Alex? To, 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 to let this stop by what is happening in Kogi State, because I think uh, Governor Yaha Bello should, should not be acting childish. That is too childish. You don't destroy the constitution that you swore to uphold. If the seven man panel has found the man not guilty of any of the allegations, and what, what is the hurry? Mm -hmm. You already have an election. This man's tenure yes, will end. In February, is it February or January? Mm, the election year? is next month. Yes, so even at that. A couple of weeks. It, it, no, no. After the election, I think he has about yeah, sixty days or February. Yeah, yeah. February. This month will end in February. So what is the rush? What? Mm. So what is it that you've tolerated him for three for three years and that you cannot tolerate? Can be endured. That cannot so be endured. What? So and so why brazenly going against the constitution of the country? And why mm. are you doing what you are doing? That sound that looks so childish. Why? I cannot place my hands. On what's happening in Kogi State. And the unfortunate thing is, sometimes people call me, what do you think? These are people you support. And sometimes you cannot find yourself, you cannot find a reason to support certain ab 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 abnormality because it's uncalled for. It's yes, if you want to be high handed at bat, you are deputy or because you are the Alpha and Omega, then there should be some legal uh, procedures. Uh, uh, procedures that some decorum. Not just doing things because of, because there's a tomorrow. Like he said, we're not building tomorrow. Why are we just building today, 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 today? Give us our daily bread. Us, how, how, how can this country still survive and give us this our daily bread? We must know how to run a country for the future. If 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 uh, Buhari behaves like the one, one of these governors will behave, then Nigeria will be in total <laughs> anarchy. These governors are lords oh. and masters, and they make the House of Assemblies a puppet, a pocket. Exactly. In their, how can that continue? All right, uh, thank you it's so sad. very much, <laughs> gentlemen. Thank it's sad. you. So uh, I, I couldn't talk about the PNID, uh, but well, I think he has, he, has, he has made a good okay, point. Okay, so you'll be here again tomorrow, and we'll have the conversation. Yes, uh, thank <laughs> you, <laughs> Femi, and then thank you, Alexa, for coming. And this is where we'll call it a wrap on of the press.
press this morning where you, we try our best to dissect the issues. Please grab copies of the newspapers and those we were not able to look at and the ones we looked at in the interest of time. We'll do this again tomorrow at the same time, 8.30 here on Plus TV Africa. And I am Amaka Okui. Have a great day.